Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today we have a cigar that was sent in by Texas Cigar Society. This the picture right there. Texas Cigar Society. Uh, this is the Monte Cristo 1935 Edition Diamante. Okay. So um I forgot what I was reviewing, and I, I was reviewing back in 2023, and Texas Cigar Society decided to send me a message to say, hey, have you tried this one? Can you do a review on this one? I said, yeah, I never tried this one yet. Um, and then he's, he decided to send it over. So yeah, thank you for sending this over, and we'll review this one today. The Monte Cristo 1935 Anniversary uh, Edition Diamond, or Diamante. Or, or, uh, whatever you want to pronounce it. This particular one is the Toro. It's a box press, 6x55. And MSRP at $24.20. That's not cheap. That is not cheap for a Toro cigar. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Now, I'm looking at the box. It's not very particularly special looking box it's the monte cristo thing and it had a diamond on the middle um I, I i i don't see that being a big plus for the price that this is tried to charge you for <laughs> even though it's tried to you know celebrate some sort of anniversary i feel like every cigar celebrates some sort of anniversary all the time so you know i, I don't i don't see I don't see the significance, right? So this is a Nicaraguan Puro that uses low priming hybrid wrapper growing Jalapa. A Criollo C binder from Amatepe. And filler from Esteli. Okay. So. With that being said. I don't know what's so special about it. So Ooh, we'll start. We'll start. We will start. Right. It's a chocolate chip sweetness with a little bit of like a late uh, raisin sourness to it. Chocolate chip sweetness. Yeah, smell kind of sweet. So, really quickly. Wow. All right. Let's light this up. Waste no time. Here's the thing like, as a cigar reviewer, you'll see a lot of us like don't bother with toasting or whatever. I want to put it out there like, you know, that little puff, first puff, really doesn't change that much. Right, we, we we toast it quickly. We get it to the sides, and we start smoking. Because what we really care about is not that initial puff; it's what the flavor we get out of it in thirds. Right, that initial puff has so many elements that there is no way to give a fair judge to that initial puff. It has your surrounding air, your surrounding moisture, all that stuff could change that initial puff. So for us, nobody, I don't think anybody can say that they can accurately um, judge or review that first puff for you. So I, we, I, at least I don't do it. I just make sure that all the sides are burned nicely. 
so that the rest of the cigar will be fair. Okay. All right. I think I forgot to take a cold draw because I was doing that, but nevertheless, I think the cold draw has got to—it's got to taste somehow, somewhat. When I smell the foot, it's actually very like a like a leathery, chocolate smell to it. But I screwed up because I was talking about it. Uh, all right, pepper. All right, there's pepper, there is leather, there is... Mm. Remember when I say I smelled chocolate chip and some raisin sourness to it? The puff... Didn't give me chocolate chip, but it gives me like a dark cookie kind of taste, but not chocolate chip, which is kind of weird. Woodsiness too. There's a little bit of woodsiness, so I like think woodsiness and cookies. Or sweet dough. Sweet baked dough. Some sort of really dull, raw tasting nuts. I'm, I'm trying. There's there's another flavor in there. I'm trying to figure out what that is. It's like dirty water. It has a little bit of stink to it, but it's only on the smell. Not you don't taste it. It just smells it. Yeah, just on the retro hill. There's a little bit of uh, um, weird, weird smell to it. Like very stinky, dirty water kind of raw smell to it. Yeah, so let's smoke for one third and we'll be right back. At the Sean Diamante. All right, one third. So, uh, it's not what I thought it was gonna be. So, as I smoke it through, sweetness go away. It's more like a muted earth, a little bit mineral, dryness. It dries you out, it really dries you out. And then it's got a little bit of a muted creaminess. A muted creaminess. Very dry finish. I don't know. It's not bad. It's just that I don't think I'm smoking a... with the right pairing. <laughs> That's what it is. It really dries you out. So, I have coffee right now. And I think I had to switch it to a soda because I need something refreshing that keep my palate going because it dries my mouth out a lot. Smoke output is pretty good. Draw is pretty good. Um, yeah, it dries you out. So, it's not a bad cigar. I just don't think that it's got to fetch 20... How much was it? 26... 20, 25, $25 and change. I just didn't think it's got to fetch $25 and change. No, actually no. It's $24 and change. Twenty four dollar and change. Right now, that dryness um, bothers me a little bit. I should have had soda or a bourbon to go with this because I I, I need to drink something that gives me more saliva to go with it. But I will change the, to a different drink, and I, I will continue to smoke this. And hopefully, this thing gets better. So, and I just noticed something about the band. When we go talk about the band, I'll tell you what I noticed. I was, I was staring at the band, and this is pretty cool. So, I'll be right back. Two third here. This cigar is roughly a medium, medium plus ish. I think it's working towards fall, but it's not there. And what I got from the second third is 
basically, at the end of second third, you get a little bit of hot cocoa in the retro hill. Everything else is the same, right? You still get that earthiness, a little bit of mineral, uh, and dry. But you get a little bit of hot cocoa on the retro hill. And a little bit, yeah, the creamy sweetness a little bit. And that's pretty much it uh, for, for now. It, it's, it's not a complex or a complicated cigar. It is an enjoyable cigar, though. $24? No, I don't think it's $24 yet. But it's an enjoyable cigar. Let's look at the first band that's on there. Basically, Addition Diamante. You get a really shiny diamond. Diamond, diamond. You see that? It shines. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's got some design to it. I really don't get the point of being diamond other than the fact that it's a box press. But, you know, if they want to call it diamond, you want to call it diamond. You know, it could be like that is a diamond, right? Like that. I don't know. So yeah, it uh, like I said, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a um, enjoyable cigar, but it's not twenty four dollar. I think it's about and there's a little bit of smokiness too. That that flavor. Um, Tony, how much would you pay for this? I don't know. Yeah. Um, mm. 15 bucks. Okay, so $15. I'm at a $15 range for this cigar. $15 to $16. Even $16.99 maybe. But not $24. Not $24. So yeah, last third. Let's finish up and uh, check out that last band. All right. Finally finished. Right, your hair, last third. Uh, you get a lingering chocolate note uh, with a little bit of woodsiness to it. Almost coffee. But it's less like a hot chocolate. It's more of a chocolate. So there, there is that little bit slight transition. It's still an enjoyable cigar. It's, it's, um, I cannot go to the $24 range, but I can get to maybe $18 range for this particular cigar. Um, but to be really honest, if I had to be very comfortable with this cigar, it would be $16. Uh, but, you know, with a little bit of everything else, and being a special edition, I can see 18, almost 18 maybe. Uh, and that's where uh, we are comfortable to give that price range for. Now, the band. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? They actually put a shiny coat over the brown part. So you actually get a little bit of that Monte Cristo uh, logo uh, monogram on there. So I think that's pretty cool because when I first saw it, it looks like this, right? It looks like this. So I didn't know there was any print right? in front of me, no light. So I don't see it. And then I turned the cigar and I was like, oh, there is some monogram on there. So they put a little bit of effort on this. I, I, I give you that. I'll give you that. That's how you do a special edition, right? You want to do some Easter egg or something special so that you feel like you're smoking something special. So yeah, the diamond thing was cool. The monogram was cool. The gold band, um, Okay, I, I would say that's relatively cool because it stayed with their 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 presentation. Monte Monte Cristo uh, Ben are usually not that crazy, right? So they 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 made it so not crazy, but they added a little bit of things to it. So between sixteen to eighteen dollars, what I can give a good cigar. I would think uh, if you can find it for a cheaper price, not twenty four, uh, you, sh you should definitely try it because this is a, a pretty good cigar. And obviously, big thanks to uh, Texas Cigar Society for sending me this cigar because um, this is one of those cigars I wouldn't otherwise picked up. Uh, being someone that's not a big fan of Monte Cristo, and uh, you know, usually Monte Cristo to me nowadays are closer to a beginner cigar. And with the palate change as you smoke over time, they get a little bit boring. But this one actually not bad. Actually not bad. It just didn't hit the the mark that they they will probably try to portray. But it's still a good cigar, and I can I can recommend this so long as you can find it in a good price. So long as you can find a good price, okay? So yeah, enjoy the cigar, and um, I will say if you gotta smoke the cigar, have something more refreshing to drink, uh, not something too creamy, not something that because this cigar dries you out, all right? Being a medium, medium plus, uh, at time feels full, but it's still a medium plus I think cigar, and it dries you out with that mineral. Um, earthiness to it you really need something that kind of continues to hydrate you without so that you don't get sick 
right? It's one of those cigars. So yeah, this cigar is good. Recommend it. Thanks to uh, Texas Cigar Society. And uh, we'll see what the next cigar review brings us. All right, so that will be it for the cigar review. If you like it, like, subscribe, and uh, comment and share. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.